everybody welcome back to lady raven dancer goss youtube channel i am going to start a new challenge in sims 4 it is called the bridge simpton uh challenge it's based on the regency romance mod um i did actually help write this challenge with a few other amazing simmers and I will go ahead and add the rules uh, below. That will include and give credit to all the other creators who helped make this challenge amazing. It will list all the mods you need and basically how to set up the game. I'm not gonna go through the rules right now. Um, basically, I'm just showing you uh, kind of the family setup. We will be playing rotationally. We do have, let's see, <clears throat> 12 families we are playing rotationally now you'll see in the rules that the rotations are supposed to be seven days I did go ahead and just make my rotations three days each it just makes sense for me so far I might change it in the future but that's how I'm gonna be playing I did randomize each family that I will be playing and like the order and how we're gonna play it uh, so the first family will we will be playing is the Ruby family which is actually our only upper class family so this is all based on classes we have the royalty class um the noble class upper class then we have upper middle class and then we have lower middle and then we have uh lower class so and that's based on our 12 families uh i did make the royal family their last name is gemstone and then all the other upper class families are based off of expensive jewels. The diamond is the Duke and Duchess. Uh, Jade is next and they are the Earl and Countess. Then we have the Ruby family which is our only upper class family and they are Sir and Lady um, Ruby. And then we have the upper middle classes. We have two of those. They are going to be lieutenants um and they are emerald family and then we get out of the gems and we go to the alexander family uh the other families the lower middle and the peasants the lower class they are based really on their profession is their last name and we'll get into each family show you what they look like their outfits and their jobs and their house this is just going to be an introduction video so now we're going to go ahead and look at the royal family. We'll go in order of class to show you guys them. Um, that's not how we're going to be playing them though. So this is just showing you what everybody looks like. This is our royal family, the gemstone family. Kambipa <clears throat> Yisharao. This is our Queen Charlotte gemstone. I did pretty much randomize how everybody looks. She wants to be truly accomplished. She is evil, she is loyal, and she is a cat lover. I do randomize their traits. They get two positive traits and one negative trait in my gameplay. Um, that's not exactly what the rules say, but that's how I'm doing it. She is a young adult, so they have plenty of time to try for more babies. In the rules, you'll be able to see uh, what age settings you should use. Age settings should be on long. Um, I'm just going to go through her outfits now for you guys. They are gorgeous. She is more Rococo style. Um, if you have watched Bridgerton on Netflix, you will see that the upper class, the Queen, and the Duke and Duchess, they pretty much wear a Rococo style. Uh, the other families wear Regency. And then I have my peasants, the lower class, wearing pretty much medieval clothes at this point because they can't afford the latest styles. So the king is a monarch, he loves the outdoors, and he is erratic. When my sons have children, uh, this, the child will inherit one trait from the dad, one trait from the mom, and one random trait. So if they inherit a bad trait from the dad and a good trait from the mom, then their third trait will be a good trait good trait that's randomized or if they don't inherit any bad traits from their parents then their third trait will be a bad trait so and I do have spreadsheets for this challenge it will make it a lot easier uh, this is our princess and gemstone she loves the outdoors and she got the creative uh, prodigy child aspiration so yeah everything's on a spreadsheet to make it easier um, 
I can show you guys my spreadsheets if you want. Just leave a comment if you want to see them to help you out with starting this challenge. So that way you can keep track of traits, what traits the children are inheriting, um, what family you're on in the rotation, um, any random occurrence scenarios that are going on, which we will get into when we actually start playing the family that is in the rules as well, um, which again I'll post below in the comments. We did take a lot of inspiration from other challenges, especially the Ultimate Decades Challenge uh, for writing this, so it is going to be a very fun historical challenge. So this is the Royal Palace. I did download this off the gallery. Uh, it was totally an empty shell, so I have decorated it and added on to it, and we will continue to work on it as we play this family. So I'm not very good at tab mode yet, as you'll see, but we will get better throughout this challenge. But this is a little tour of the palace, the kitchen. We'll go down to the servants' quarters. We do have the royalty mod. Um, again, the rules will list all the mods that you will need and are recommended for this challenge. Um, royalty mod is one that you definitely will want to have. And um, we do link all the mods in the um rules for you guys so yeah this is the servants quarters they will have a few of those they are the royal family of course and you definitely need the regency romance mod um that's a huge part of this it gives you the lady whistledown papers uh from bridgerton and a bunch of other things that really help make the challenge come alive this is the royal ballroom and the throne room where the king and queen will greet their courtiers. This is a little drawing room that every uh, good Regency family must have to entertain suitors and guests. <clears throat> we'll go ahead outside I think now, which I totally had to add on to. They didn't have anything outside, so I made this gorgeous pool. It's almost in the shape of a cross, which was the goal <laughs> uh, to show, I guess, the royal family. I did give them a hot tub. You know, they are the king and queen. They need a hot tub. They do have a laundry area, and I built this whole barn. Um, this is a mod I have where you can have horses that are bikes that you ride around on, basically. So they have a barn. And I built this whole garden entrance and play area for the princess that you'll see in just a moment. It's a little laggy here. Tab mode is a little laggy for some reason. Okay, now we'll get into the upstairs, the living quarters. This is a nice study. And the bathroom and the master bedroom for the king and queen. And this is the princess's room. Also, there is a nursery. They will be wanting to have an heir, a son, as soon as possible. So that is our first job with this family. The second floor does, uh, the third floor, I guess I should say, doesn't really have too much. We'll be adding on to that as we get more kids and stuff. The top floor, though, is my favorite. It's got a spa, recreation, skilling, everything. Like, the top floor is just basically for entertainment. And the king and queen, of course, are up here working on their chess skills uh, separately, it looks like. And, of course, we got to snap a picture or two. All right, now we're going to go into the diamond family, which is our next in class. Uh, this is the Duke and the Duchess. Also, the Duke is the royal advisor to the king. The Duchess is uh, the queen's lady-in-waiting. And we'll go ahead and look at them in cast and look at their house as well. I'm going to do this for each family. Um, this is not the order we're playing the families, but we are going to go 
through uh, by oh, class to show you them. Way. Okay, so this is Duchess Isabella Diamond. And we'll show you her aspiration, her traits, and all of her outfits, of course. She wants to be a friend of the animals. She is unflirty. She is a dog lover, and she is good. So she's definitely going to want some animals. And she is pretty heavily Rococo style as well. They are next in line to the throne, especially with the king and queen not having an heir right now. Oh, oh. And they have an heir. <laughs> this is the Duke, Cornelius Diamond. He wants to be a chief of mischief. I don't know how good of an advisor he makes. He is loyal though. He is an alcoholic and he is also a dog lover. just go through all their outfits with the men and their athletic outfit I'm trying to give it like military armor um, in case they go to battle or whatever and this is their son Sir Fred Frederick Diamond he is the perfect age to have a betrothal to the princess which is awesome he did get the rambunctious um, child's physical aspiration and he inherited the dog lover he was bound to do that because both of his parents have that as a trait so this family wants to raise some dogs and the kids will be dressed pretty heavily medieval style as well there is not a lot of um separation between the medieval clothes and the regency style for kids uh, not that i've found yet but of course we'll be expanding my cc collection as the challenge goes now i'll just give you a quick tour of their house and then we'll move on to the next family and with the regency mod you actually purchase an estate for um, the challenge so you get money for the estate each day I believe um, and then you can pass on the estate to your heir so that's really cool so they have a very nice diamond uh, dining room kitchen they will have a uh, maid butler all of that as well they have of course the drawing room that every good regency house has to have give them a little pool outside they do have the archery mod in here that's one of the recommended mods that you'll need they do have some horses as well uh, master bedroom master bathroom a little skilling room um, the prince uh, not the prince the uh, heirs room I guess he is a sir sir Frederick right now he is noble, and this is their study. Alright, next we'll be playing uh, the final noble family. They are the Earl and the Countess Jade, and we'll show you them and show you their house. Now, their house is not done yet, uh, it's a work in progress. Pretty much every house between now and... Uh, the lower class families are a work in progress. I'm not done with those houses, but they will be done before we play the family. Um, the Duke and the Earl are both going to be in the House of Lords. That is a custom career that comes with the Regency Dish Romance up, mod. Huh? And also the uh, <laughs> Sir Ruby, the upper class family, he is also going to be part of the House of Lords. So that's their job. They are running the country. Earl Dudley Jade. He wants to be fabulously wealthy. He is a music lover, romantic and childish. They have no children yet, so they'll be working on that. They're both young adults. Just go sh through and show you their outfits. Um, we do have pretty much a color theme associated with the last name. So the Jade family pretty much is green. 
color. The diamond was a lot of yellow, a lot of white. Uh, the gemstones are going to be a lot of purple. This is Countess Juliet Jade. She wants to be a friend of the world. She is loyal. She is an astrophile. And she is lazy. I'll show you her outfits. They'll be working on having a child, of course, as soon as we start playing them. They're actually the last family in the rotation, so again, we have 12 families total. We are playing for three-day rotations. That's how I wanted to do it. Um, yeah. <laughs> now we'll show you their house. Again, it's not done, but I'll just show you basically uh, the outside of it. I did download all these houses um, from the gallery. The only houses that I built are the lower class family, the peasants. We have three of those that I built and decorated. They're all done. But the other ones I downloaded and have to decorate and edit myself. So yeah, he's a house of lord. Um, all three of the upper class men, the two nobles, and the one upper class, they're all going to be House of Lords. And next, we'll go ahead and show you the Ruby family. They are the only upper class family. Um, so he is a lord, or a sir is his title, and his wife is Lady. Okay, so this is the Ruby family. This is the last um, upper class Sim family that is going to be a House of Lords member. And we'll go ahead and show you them in class and show you their house. Their house is not done yet, but this is the first family we're playing in the rotation. So it will be done by the time we start their round, which will be the next episode. If you guys do end up starting this challenge yourselves and you need any help with it, um, please let me know. I decided not to go through the rules in the episode because um, this is going to be such a long introduction episode anyways. Um, but again, if you need any help, just leave a comment or any questions or things you'd like to add to my challenge, let me know. So this is Sir Ezra Ruby. He is a reformed rake, which if you've watched Bridgerton, you will know what that means. But basically... He is going to be turned against um, being super romantic. Um, Lady Selena Ruby wants to have a successful lineage. She's athletic, non-committal, and a dog lover. So basically this couple might have kind of an open relationship as much as you can in the Regency era. Um, he's also loyal, alcoholic, and an art lover. They do have two uh, boys who are very close in age. I guess you could say they're Irish twins. John is a few days older, and then Josiah. John is the heir. So they're both teenagers. John wants to be truly accomplished. He's active, and he's an art lover. Again, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see my spreadsheets, if you need any help with anything for this challenge. I would highly recommend doing spreadsheets. This is his younger brother, Josiah. He wants to be a chief of mischief. He's cheerful and he's also active. I think it's a good thing that he's not the heir um, with him being a chief of mischief aspiration.
Now the rules are heavily detailed as to what classes can marry, what other classes, you will have to go through them. Um, very amazing challenge that we have done and very excited to start it with you guys. Okay, so like I said, this house is not done at all. I will be working on this. This is the first uh, family we're playing, so it will be done by the time we start. I did download this house from the gallery, so I have to edit it myself and make sure it is uh, perfect for the Ruby family. So there will be a lot of red. <laughs> so yeah, he is the last um, upper class sim that is in the House of Lords custom career. The next family we will be playing is the Emerald family. They are going to be our first um, upper middle class. And both of the upper middle class families are in the army. They are officers in the army, which is another custom career you can get in the Regency Romance mod. Um, they get an officer salary. So they are both in the military, but high up in the military, so they're leading it. So both of these families have these townhouses that I downloaded from the gallery. I have to completely redo them for each family, but they're both going to look the same for the upper middle class family. And we'll go ahead and show you the Emerald family and cast. Malvoy Bifose. This is Francis Emerald. He wants to be a renaissance sim, he is loyal, he is outgoing, and he is unflirty. So there will be a lot of green for the emerald family, of course, like a dark green. The jade family is more like a tealish light green. <clears throat> this is his wife, Rose Emerald. She wants to be a party animal, she's loyal, she's a dog lover, and she's a glutton. Wouldn't tell by looking at her, but that is her negative trait. Again, I did randomize all the skin tones, all the hair colors, all the eye colors, all the body shapes to make these sims. I thought that made it really interesting, so we'll have a lot of um, new genetics to play with. And they only have one child. She is a daughter. She's a teenager. Marina Emerald. She wants to be a super parent. She's loyal. And she's outgoing. Now I did foresee her possibly being with one of the Ruby boys. But they are actually not able to marry below their class. Yeah. It needs to be in their class or above for the upper class sims and this family is upper middle so she will have to find someone else to be with i do see myself making like a alms house of ladies that are basically can be any class um for the male sims and like a barracks of army officers that can end up being any class for the female sims um because we don't have enough um, eligible sims for the marrying group. A big part of this challenge is presenting yourself in society to the queen once you've gotten your skills for the upper class sims. Um, so we don't have a lot of teenagers yet that can do that, but we will be working on that. So yeah, I'll just show you the outside of their house again. This house is totally going to have to be redone. Um, but we won't be playing this family until number seven, so we got some time to work on that. So yeah, this is our first upper middle class family, and we have one more family in the upper middle class, which is the Alexander family, and I'll show you them next. So again, it's the same townhouse as the Emerald family. Um, but we'll have to totally redo it for this family. He has the same job. He's a lieutenant in the army. And we'll go ahead and show you them in cast. This is just a couple. They're young adults. And we've gotten out of the gem family last name. So this family's surname is Alexander. 
first name Joshua. He wants to be truly accomplished, loves the outdoors. He's a goofball and a geek. Mm -hmm. And this is our last upper middle class family, last uh, military family. And this is his wife, in Unity. She wants to be a friend of the animals, high maintenance, astrophile, and loves the outdoors. To randomize their aspirations, their traits, everything about them. So next we will go into the lower middle class family, which I see as kind of merchant class. Uh, they are in the main center of town, kind of like merchant houses. Uh, each of their surnames are based on their career. So we have a family in the education career, which I will show you next. They are the Wordsworth family. I've made that basically words are worth something for teachers especially. Um, so that is the meaning behind their last name. And then we have the Baker family which is in the culinary career. And then we have the Lute family which is in the entertainer career. So that was based off an instrument, the Lute. Which I actually have some CC Lutes. <laughs> So yeah, we'll go ahead and show you those three families next. We'll start with the Wordsworth, and these are lower middle class families. And the family size starts to get bigger the lower class that we go down it seems. This is another house I got off the gallery. It's not done at all, so once we play the round it will be though, so I'll just show you basically the outside of it for now. We will be playing this family ninth, so we have plenty of time to worry about it. And we'll go ahead and show you them in cast. To Kinnick Sephim. All right, this is our founder, Morgan Wordsworth. He is a chief of mischief, gloomy, outgoing, and family oriented. He is going to be our teacher in town in the education career. That will be the career his son takes up when he is of age as well. This is his wife, Arabella. She wants to be a party animal. She is an art lover. She is creative and mean. <laughs> so their kids are definitely going to have more medieval style clothes uh, because they are not as wealthy as the other families, but the adults have more of the Regency style still. This is their oldest son, Percy. He is the heir. He is a teenager. He does want to be truly accomplished. That's his aspiration. He did inherit the gloomy trait from his dad and the art lover trait from his mom. And this is their youngest child, Robert. He is an art creative sim and an art lover as well. This is a very creative family. So the upper, uh, the lower middle class, 
the upper middle class and the lower class families do not get presented to the queen for marrying. Um, this is our next family, the Baker family. They are in the culinary career, um, as will be his son. And this is another house I downloaded off the gallery that is going to have to be heavily edited for them. Uh, but I thought it was a very cute cottage sort of thing. So <laughs> looks perfect for them. As I was saying, yes, the upper middle, lower middle, and lower class will not be presented to the queen for their marrying market. So their betrothals and uh, weddings will have to be just uh, family uh, planned. This is our founder, Sam Percival Baker. He is an adult. He does want to be a super parent. He is jealous, he is family oriented, and he is a perfectionist. And the rules, the family size is also randomized. So I really like how everything pretty much in this challenge is randomized. This is his wife, Edith. She also wants to be a super parent. She's non-committal. She's a dog lover and an animal enthusiast. All right, this is their son and heir, Simon Baker. He's a teenager. He wants to be truly accomplished. He's an animal enthusiast and childish. And uh, again, yeah, all the teenagers and kids and toddlers for these lower middle and uh, lower class families will be medieval style. This is his younger sister, Tabitha. She wants to do the physical child aspiration, and she's a dog lover. I'll just briefly show you the their house pretty much just the outside um, we'll see the inside when we actually play the family and have it all done for the episode we will have quite a few community lots that are recommended and the rules to add I will be most likely downloading those off the gallery and decorating them myself this is our next family the loot family they are our entertainers 
Uh, so we'll go into Cass and show you them. They're kind of, I see them as more of a French type family with their names and stuff. I did use like a Regency name website, but uh, I, I get their vibes are more like French. Okay, this is our founder and the one in the entertainer career, Philip Lute. He is an adult. He wants to be a mansion baron and he's an astrophile. He is a snob and he's family oriented. So, I think he turned out pretty well. They do have three kids, all of them being girls, so they got their hands full. This is his wife, Emmeline. She wants to be a freelance botanist. She's family oriented, a goofball, and an animal enthusiast. As I was saying about the community lots, um, we will have those by the first episode, at least most of them. We'll obviously still work on them throughout the challenge and add more, um, so that the Sims will have some places to go during their challenge and their episodes. Also, if you've watched Bridgerton, there's a lot of, um, social events that take place, a lot of outings, uh, throughout the courting process. All right, this is their oldest daughter, Sophia. She's a teenager. She wants to be a country caretaker. She's a goofball and she loves the outdoors. There's no real uh, color scheme. For the um, upper, middle, lower middle, and lower classes, there's no color scheme like for the family. It's just really any color. This is the middle child, Amelia. She wants to be a whiz kid. She's a dog lover. She has a child. Uh, I think she might be the prettiest out of the sisters, just saying, but we'll see how she grows up. We'll have to see who she ends up with. I have a feeling the Wordsworth younger son will be a good match for her. This is their youngest daughter, Cecilia. She is the independent toddler trait. We do randomize those traits as well for the children and the toddlers. Alright, and then we'll just show you pretty much the outside of their house because again we are going to need to do a lot of work on this before we play them. They are second to last in the rotation. They're of the 11th family to play. So again, we got plenty of time. I really like the outside of their house though. It's like a, basically looks like a, a medieval grocery store. Uh, so I thought that was really cool for like a merchant class family, which I see them as. All three of these families really. If anyone would like to create some ladies or gentlemen for the almshouse and the barracks, uh, we can set that up. I can go ahead and create a hashtag for this challenge um, for my channel. So if you would like to create any sims for me, please leave a comment below and I will create a hashtag.
Next, we'll be showing you the three lower class. Uh, the first lower class family is the Smith family. Their last names are based on their professions as well. He is going to be our town blacksmith. So these are basically the peasants. They live in Hedenford on Bagley. It's kind of out in the country. I figured that would be a good setting for the lower class family. They're like outside of the main town. Um, this is just a couple. They're both young adults, so they do need to work on starting their family. They are all going to be in medieval style clothes. They can't afford Regency clothes. Um, he wants to be a bodybuilder. He's self-assured, lactose intolerant, and good. I don't uh, limit any of the traits for myself. I do limit the aspirations, which I can show you guys if you are interested in seeing my spreadsheets. Um, this is his wife, Grace. She wants to be truly accomplished. She's neat. She's a klepto. And she's a child of the ocean. So she'll be interesting to play for sure. And I love that she ended up getting the klepto treat while her name is Grace. <laughs> so yeah, they are going to be the blacksmith of family. I'll show you their house. I did build this, my, build this myself and decorate. The blacksmith career is a custom career that you can get. I believe you can get it on mod the sims but if you want me to try and find the link i can try and find that as well just leave a comment below there is rules on how much starting funds each family of each class gets so i did follow that um and made the most of their houses that i can All right, next we'll be showing you the second lower class family, which is the Farmwell family. They are farmers, hence the surname. They do have a child, so they are a little older. They are adults, and they have a teenage daughter. Again, I did build this house myself and decorate it, so it's pretty much all set up for them. And we'll actually be playing this family second on the rotation, so they'll be fresh in your mind. This is Walter. He is an adult. He does want to be a renaissance sim. He's romantic, a bookworm, and noncommittal. So he won't have a career. He's just going to be selling fruits, vegetables, stuff he gets from the animals, all that good stuff. I darkened his beard here because it just seems like it needed to be darker. I wasn't feeling it. Alright, this is his wife, Jane. She wants to be a super parent. She is uh, self-absorbed, loves the outdoors, and a dance machine. And this is their daughter, Hester Farmwell. She is a teen. She wants to be a painter extraordinaire. She's squeamish and romantic. I think she turned out to be very beautiful.
And when you see the rules for this challenge and you randomize the family size, I randomize the age of the Sims that are in the family and randomize the gender, so it's really just a good mix of everything I think that we ended up getting. I'll just show you their house real quick. Then we'll move on to the last family of the challenge, which is our last lower class family. They are the Shelby family, and they are actually our town criminals, so that's interesting. I did get their last name from the Peaky Blinders show on Netflix, so uh, that is based on their profession as well. And the Shelby family will be playing third on the rotation, so it's a good thing we got everything done and set up for all the lower class families because they are where we are playing them early on. All right, this is our last family. I know it says the Smith Cottage. It's because they're not actually home for some reason, but we'll fix that in a few minutes here. So yeah, he's in the criminal career. Hopefully he doesn't end up getting caught because we will have a prison. And we do have um, different types of punishments you can give out uh, with the royalty mod. So we'll see how that goes. So his name is Barnard. He wants to be a country caretaker. Um, and he is a lazy, family oriented and loyal. He's loyal to the criminal organization. They are both young adults. They just have a toddler daughter, so they have plenty of time to make more kiddos. This is his wife, Lydia. She wants to have inner peace. I don't know how much peace she'll have with her husband as a criminal, but we'll see. She's jealous, she's cheerful, and she's an animal enthusiast. And this is their daughter, Louisa. She ended up getting the charmer toddler trait. They'll definitely be working on having a son as soon as possible to take over as the next criminal. <laughs> My plan is to keep the oldest sons in the same career as their father, whatever that may be, and inherit the estate if they have one. So we'll give you a little tour of their house. Their house is one of my favorites of the lower class. And after we tour their house, that's going to be the end of the episode. The next episode, we will be playing the Ruby family, which is our only upper class. He was uh, in the House of Lords. He is a sir. His wife is a lady. And they have the two teenage boys, so we'll be playing them first. The rotations will last three days, and then we'll move on to the next family. Please don't forget to leave comments if you guys want to create families, if you guys have any questions, if you want to see spreadsheets. I appreciate you guys watching so much, and if you could please remember to like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. We are getting so close to 100 subscribers. I'm so excited to really just focus on YouTube for a while and work on this challenge. We also play Sims 2 Medieval uh, Charter Challenge as well, and maybe we'll have some other stuff going on in the future. Um, I do not have the ability to play Sims 3 right now, which is sad, but it is what it is. It's not working. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, and um, we'll see you on the next episode with the Ruby family. Bye!